Bracket orders are an incredibly simple way to automate some of your trading. These order types will allow you guys to place orders that trigger other orders and orders with both a profit target and a stop loss. In today's video, we're going to dive deep into the interactive broker's trading platform and learn how to place bracket orders on positions we already hold in the account, as well as brand new positions we haven't even bought yet. Now, diving first into positions we currently hold in the account, let's go ahead and take a look in the lower right-hand corner and find my portfolio tab. Looking down there, we can see I currently hold positions on Facebook, Apple, and Netflix. However, looking to the left-hand side, we can actually see a current working order on Apple as of right now. Here, I can quickly see that I'm trying to sell those shares of Apple if it ever goes up to 152.90 or if it drops down to 135. So this would be an example of an OCO bracket order. I'm basically saying I either want to sell these shares for a profit at 152.90 or stop my losses if it ever drops down to 135. Looking right above that, you can also see I did have an OCO bracket order on Netflix, but I did cancel that order. But let's say I wanted to restart. I actually wanted to place that OCO bracket order once again. One thing I could do is simply come over here to my position on the right hand side where it says I currently have 100 shares of Netflix, and I'm just going to go ahead and right click on that. As soon as I do that, you will see a little menu pop up and I'm simply gonna find the trade menu, look on the left hand side and select that I wanna close out of 100% of my position. Now, as soon as I do that, I'm then gonna come over here to my order entry tool on the left hand side. Looking here, it's saying that I wanna sell 100 shares of Netflix, my current position, and it's defaulting to a limit order. Now, the very first thing we're gonna do is actually set our profit target. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the word limit right here, and I'm going to make my profit target 195, saying if Netflix ever goes up to 195, go ahead and sell my 100 shares. I'm then going to come over here to where it says day, the current time and force, and change that over to good until canceled. That simply means if this order ticket does not fill today, try again tomorrow. Doesn't happen tomorrow, try again the next day, and the next day, and so on, until it either fills or until I come in here and cancel it. Now that we have the profit taking portion of this order ticket filled out, the very next thing we need to do is come down here and select advanced. As soon as I do that, another little pop-up window come up and what we're gonna focus on is the one cancels the other window right here. This will basically specify that if one order ticket fills, it's gonna cancel the other one. What I need to do next is actually fill this order ticket out from left to right. So right here it says I want to sell, which is exactly right. I'm gonna change this from an empty blank box to Netflix. I'm going to come over here to the order type, which currently says limit, and I'm actually going to change that to a stop order. For those of you not super familiar, remember a stop basically says if the stock price goes down to that level, get me out because I don't want to lose any more money. But now that we've got that specified, the next thing I need to do is come over here to the quantity box and actually specify I want to close out of my entire position. And right here, it tells me my current position is 100 shares. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. The next thing I need to do is actually specify the price that I wanted to get out at. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and make that 175. So I'm saying if Netflix drops down to 175, get me out of these shares. The next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the time and force box and also flip that over to good until canceled. So they both match. Now, finally, the very last thing I need to do in this order ticket is go ahead and change this from reduce other orders to reduce other orders with fill protection. Now, this is basically saying that if a portion of one of these order tickets fills, go ahead and adjust the other order ticket accordingly. So for example, let's say Netflix actually starts to go up and it actually hits my profit target of 195. But let's also say it wasn't able to fill on all 100 shares. It was only able to sell 50 shares at 195. What this is then saying is I want to adjust my stop accordingly because I no longer have 100 shares. I want the stop to reduce from 100 shares to 50 shares. And then with the overfill protection, I'm basically just saying, be careful because I don't want to accidentally oversell the account or short a position I don't actually own. But that's it. So now that I'm happy with the order ticket, again, everything looks right. I've got it built out. I'm simply going to hit the submit button. As soon as I do that, a little order ticket's going to come up and it's just going to confirm everything we just did. So right here, it's saying I want to sell 100 shares of Netflix at 195 or get stopped out if it drops down to 175. Whichever one of those two order tickets fills first, it's going to automatically cancel the order. Hence the name right here where it says one cancels the other. Since everything does look correct, I'm happy with it. I'm simply going to come down here and hit transmit down below. As soon as I did that, we can actually see that working order ticket on Netflix now down here at the bottom. It says I want to sell those shares if it ever hits 195 or get stopped out at 175. 
Now, later down the line, let's say you guys decide to edit this order in some way, you want to adjust the limit price, let's say, from 195 to 205. What we could do is actually right click on this order ticket and then come down here and select modify. We're then gonna select the order ticket and then we're gonna get a little pop-up window where we can actually adjust the price right over here on the left-hand side. Now, in my case, I said I'm adjusting my profit target from 195 up to 205. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm simply gonna come down here and hit transmit. Immediately after I did that, you can see the order ticket has flipped over over here from 195 up to 205. Looking up here on the chart, you can actually see those lines are drawn on the chart as well. So up here, I've got a limit price at 205, a stop at 175. This window will also allow me to cancel order tickets as well. That's what this little cancel button is for on the left hand side. And if I were to click on that, it would cancel my entire order ticket. I also have the ability to actually drag up these lines. So right here, I'm clicking on my stop and I'm moving it up. You can see there that my stop just moved from 175 up to 176.45. And that's my new stop activation price. I could of course do the exact same thing to the limit order if I came up here, clicked and held down on it and dragged it all the way down. Now looking down here, you can see my order ticket has changed from a 205 profit target down to 189.15. But I think you guys get the idea, placing bracket orders on positions you already hold in the account is pretty easy. So let's next move on to a position we haven't even bought yet, a position we don't even own. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna come up here and flip the stock ticker over to something else. Let's go ahead and look at Square here, SQ, hit enter on the keyboard. Looking here at Square, we can see it's currently trading for $83.40. Now, for this example, let's say I wanted to buy 50 shares of Square if it ever dropped down to 80. Then, if that ever happened, I wanted to try and sell those shares for 85 or get stopped out if it went down to 79. Now, in order for us to do that, we are gonna come down here to the order entry tool and just start one step at a time. I'm first gonna go ahead and build out that opening order ticket to buy, I think I said 50 shares of stock. Go ahead and throw in 50 here. I'm then gonna come over here to the limit price and go ahead and change that to $80. Again, where I wanna buy those shares of Square. I'm also gonna go ahead and flip this over from a day order to a good until cancel order. So now that we've got the opening order ticket filled out to actually buy those 50 shares of Square if it ever drops down to 80, what I now need to do is come down and select Advanced, just like before. However, this time what I'm going to do is actually come up to the top where it says Attach Stop Loss or Profit Taking Order. As soon as I click on that, you're going to see a little menu come up to actually ask what we want to do. In my case, I actually wanted to put both a Profit Taking Order and a Stop Loss Order, but you don't have to do it that way. If you only want a stop to go out behind these shares, you would simply check mark stop loss. If you instead didn't want to use a stop, but did want a profit taking order, you would simply check mark profit taker. Again, in my case, I want both a stop loss order and a profit taking order to go out there behind my opening trade. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark bracket. From there, the only thing I need to do is actually specify my prices. In my case, I'm setting the profit taking order at 85, saying if this ever goes up to 85, I wanna take that $5 per share profit. Looking down below that, I can see my stop is already set to what I wanted to use, a $79 activation price, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. After we've got everything filled out correctly the way we like it, we would simply come down here and select Submit. Looking here, just like in the previous example, it's gonna give us a breakdown of exactly what we just did on the previous screen. Right here, it's saying I first want to buy 50 shares of Square if it ever drops down to 80. If that order then fills, I then want to try and sell it for 85 or get stopped out if it drops down to 79. Again, only one of these two sell order tickets can fill. Whichever order ticket fills first, it's going to automatically cancel the other order. Since everything looks good, everything looks correct, and I'm happy with it, I'm simply going to come down here and hit transmit at the very bottom. Again, as soon as I do that, I can see the opening order ticket followed by the bracket order right here on the order status page. Right here it says I want to buy those 50 shares of Square if it goes down to 80, then I want to try and sell for 85, or get stopped out if it drops down to 79. Just like the previous example, if I look up here on the chart for Square, I can also see my order tickets right here. And just like before, I actually have the ability to adjust these order tickets by dragging up or down these lines. So right here, this green line is the order ticket to buy the shares. If I click and hold down and drag up, I'm adjusting my entire order ticket up or down. Looking down here, you can see my order ticket has been moved up basically 53 cents on each leg. So now I'm saying I wanna buy it at 
I want to sell it for $85.53 or get stopped out at $79.53. If you want to be a little bit more precise with it, you could of course come in here and simply right click on the order you want to adjust, come down here to modify, and modify that specific order ticket. From here, we're then adjusting the profit taking order. If I wanted that to be back down to 85, I could of course type in 85, then go ahead and hit transmit here. But I think you guys see all of the potential uses of bracket orders. And after today, you should all feel a lot more comfortable placing bracket orders yourself within interactive brokers. If you guys have any additional questions for me or recommendations for other tutorials you guys would like me to discuss, please leave them down below. But that wraps up today's video on bracket orders. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one.